Hello, my name is Wes Dawson, and welcome back to another episode of Gab Ghoul Nate. Now, if you're thinking this was episode 100, you are horribly mistaken, as this is episode 99.5. Allow me to explain. Now, you see, things are a little different. This is a special episode, as I am sitting here just strewn out, half naked on the couch in my new apartment. Now, there's nothing strange about that. That's that's the usual M.O., What's strange is that I'm not recording in Gabagool Podcast Central 1, and instead of using my high-quality audio recording device, I'm using some shitty headset that I quote-unquote borrowed from work. So here we are, ready to record episode 99.5. Why is it 99.5? Hey, episode 100 is a milestone. Episode 100 is something to be proud of, something to write home about if Tom ever wrote back. I don't want to squander that on this episode with poor audio quality. Come on. Like, I'm going to save that for next week. We're going to get my microphone, get my equipment set up. We're going to do a hell of an episode for episode 100. So for episode 99.5, I have no official theme, no anything more. I just want to get this out there. I'll make it sweet, make it quick, make it simple. This way you don't have to listen to this weird... The audio quality is killing me. It's killing me. So... We're just going to dive into something, a message I got this week, and we'll talk about that quick, and that will be that. You can get back to asking Mommy why Wes Dawson's always leaving your place late at night. So I recently got a message about our TikTok episode, which is strange because that episode came out almost a year ago, like easily eight, nine months ago. So I'm like, you know, if if you're going to be up in arms about something I've said, A, I don't particularly care, and B... You know, there's like a you know three month statute of limitations before I really don't give a shit. But for the purposes of this week, let's talk about it. Basically, they were arguing about comments I made on TikTok and social media as a whole, uh, kind of giving the idea that uh, basically either these platforms were created by a pervy old man or a horny young adolescent, because it's basically 99% just jerk off fodder. Uh, it's basically light like porn. But freer than light porn. Hell, it makes those sexually explicit, like, Skinamax movies used to play late at night, Cinemax, HBO, Nuit Bleu. It makes those seem like the tamest thing you've ever watched. You know, actually, those things didn't even have that much. I'm sure TikTok is way over-sexualized in these Skinamax films. Anyway. So they're kind of arguing that it's not the uploaders or it's not the culture. It's, in fact, me who sexualizes these posts. And I said, you know, I'm not rubbing out any knuckle children. I'm just observing this from having looked at it. But, uh, you know, ultimately, it's me who did it. It's me who makes these posts seem inappropriate. So you're telling me an adolescent girl that I've never met, I've never seen, I've never had any form of mutual or creepy one-way relationship with, it's my fault they decided to upload a strip tease publicly. Uh, sure, that's okay. Solid logic. I like this. I, I like these kinds of arguments. Uh, so it's not inherently the content of the video that sexualized something. You know, age-inappropriate videos are in the eye of the beholder, I guess? Okay, then, let's say that I started a new social media site called Gorilla Pound. And, you know, there's a bit of dancing, there's a bit of comedy, and then this app takes off. It's the next big thing. You think the Chinese are spying on you? You just wait till Gabagool, Nate, Wes Dawson, and Gorilla Pound are deep into your DMs, Okay. So now, the newest trend of 2022 on this killer new app is you getting on all fours on a nice, comfortable, hard surface and letting a silverback gorilla rail you from behind. Just packing meat like a sausage factory going out of business, okay? But there's nothing sexual about it. Nothing to do with sex. It has to do with power struggles, uh, dynamics of hip movement, physical activity, and just living life and good vibes, So regardless of what the video is or what it's depicting or what people are using it for, if I keep saying it's not sexual, then it isn't, right? Okay, so so we're on the same page. It's not sexual. The video, you get pounded by a fucking gorilla. Nothing sexual about it. You know, but you are the one there bobbing around with a solid two pounds of gorilla meat inside you. But again, it's, it's just an artistic expression of who you are. You know, this kind of argument, this kind of logic... I've seen it before. You know who else uses this kind of sound argumentative logic? Usually racists who are insisting that they're not racist or gun nuts who seem to think that guns can't hurt people. So, you know, you keep doing you, 
keep sending me these messages. Hell, it gives me plenty of stuff to riff on for another episode of Gabagool and 8. Episode 99.5 is in the books. That's it. That's all. We are done. I'm going to take this half-naked body and put it to some good use, if you know what I mean. I'm going to get dressed and go get some supper. So, that's it. That's all I have for you. Enjoy this week's episode. I apologize again for the quality of the audio. Hopefully, not hopefully, next week it will be better. I'll have my mic. If not, I will just shout from the rooftops so that you can just hear me directly. My name is Wes Dawson. This has been Gabagool Nate. Be sure to tune in next week when we properly celebrate the 100th episode of Gabagool Nate. Not a week missed. That's why 99.5 is coming out the way it is. I'm not breaking this streak. Not for anyone. So please listen, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next Wednesday.